Perfect. My name is Rafi Media Villa from CriticalRogos.com. Kat, Tom, thank you for taking the time to talk about the second season and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Rafi. Nice to see you. So, um, I, Kat, I got to start with you. Bree is trying to move up from her past, but she's getting into some different waters that she may not know how to handle. Right. Uh, you, you know, you're not, you're not in the red flags. Uh, you know, what... What is it about Oliver that she feels so comfortable open up to him? Mm. I think he's a master manipulator. <laughs> um, I think there's a little bit of that. I think it's the way that they meet um, Brie being in such a vulnerable position at the time. And um, I think she also allows for a lot of it to happen. You know, Brie's a smart character. Um she may be seemingly naive and kind of just tumbling into this relationship, but I think she, you know, at the beginning at least, sees this opportunity to maybe try something that she's never tried and go outside the bounds of what she even thought that she would she would do herself. And so I think it's really interesting to watch. It is. It's really interesting to watch. Tom. <laughs> Given the bomb, it's difficult to, to do interviews without interviews to spoilers, but given the bombshells that constantly Oliver is dropping on on on, on, on Brie, you saw the script, you saw how complex this character is. What was going through your mind? How do I, how do I approach this? What was going through your mind? Um, I, I mean, I had to console myself with the fact that I knew that at the end of this, people would really not like this character at all. So I think that um, I had to take my own judgment of the character away in order to approach it um, and and find a way to to find a way to make him plausible and and try to make him even though his actions are deplorable and and he, you know he comes across as creepy because of them I tried to think about you know not making him creepy try to make him as grounded as possible and as kind of matter of fact as possible about this situation. Um, and so, you know, I had to just not think about the age difference. I had to not think about the power dynamics. I just had to think about connecting with Kat and these two um, characters connecting in a way that kind of almost wants your audience to root for them as a couple, even though everything about it is messed up and wrong. Somehow, you know, whatever Brie is going through, you need to understand her decision-making it, it involved in this and um, and make Oliver as appealing as possible, even though he's really not. <laughs> um, uh, Kat, this question is for you. And it's, I think it's going to be a difficult question. Brie, I, 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 know, and I mentioned, Tom just mentioned, it's difficult. It's, it's, this sort of relationship is really difficult. And, it's, and as, as much as we hate to admit it, it happens. So I think people, women specifically, who have gone through this, through what Bree's going through, what would what would Bree tell them I mean, in, in how to handle the situation? What would you think Bree would tell these people, this woman that has gone through the situation? Well, you know, like, I think it's, it's really tough to give anyone advice in who who has been in a situation like this because it's kind of like unless you're in it you can't do you can't do anything about it and anyone that says anything you know outside of it depending on where your mindset is at you're there no, nothing's going to help you know um i think the most important thing is to make sure that you don't isolate because isolation is a tactic that yeah. narcissists use. And um, <laughs> I mean, I think just keep your wits about you, you know, um, it's a, it's a hard situation. It's especially with Brie because she's so, she's such a vulnerable character and she's been through so much. And um, I think she, she, she's smart, which is, compelling because she may know better but you just see her again and again choose to, to stay in this situation that's hurting her and um yeah it's devastating yeah, it's a difficult situation honestly tom this question is for you again i think you're a master of, of, of giving life to a complex character so i gotta ask between as an actor between oliver god can and lucifer what are characteristics that you have learned from each one that you feel that you have 
according to them in, in each new project? Um, I think, like, I mean, <laughs> with Lucifer, it was about finding a heart in someone who's assuming to be heart, you know, assumed to be heartless. Uh, with Oliver, it was about removing the heart because I think that 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 for me is something you know naturally as a performer I think I've gravitated towards characters that have a degree of warmth about them, and a degree of soul, and with Oliver I kind of I had to take it all out and like create this kind of shell that you know could say things in the moment that would make someone feel a certain way, but there's no connection or depth of feeling to it really, and um, that that was quite an alien process for me. Um, but yeah, that was that's what I had to do on this one. That's awesome. Uh, uh, Tom, before I go, I gotta thank you for Detective because it's stuck in my mind forever. And congratulations for everything. So thank you for your time. Thank you so much, man. Nice to see you. Thank you.